Now, when you think about modified Land Rovers, Twisted Automotive might not be the first company that springs to mind. Now, Twisted Automotive, I've been going since 2001, founded by Charles, right here in Yorkshire. So, Twisted are based in Thirsk, just down the road from where I am now, and you can see the lovely Yorkshire countryside in the background there. Now, they started modifying Land Rover Defenders with sort of off-road suspension, big wheels, sort of, that was the trend at the time. And then in recent years, they've had more demand for more modernized Land Rover Defenders. Famously, Land Rover have discontinued this style of Defender in replacement for the, the one we see now on the roads. Um, and then also Ineos, which is a company that I test drove one of their vehicles recently on the channel. The founder of that company said he approached Land Rover and they wouldn't give him the tooling for this style of Defender. Twisted are one of those companies which have taken the original Land Rover Defender design and brought it into the 21st century with some absolutely exquisite materials inside. We've got an up-to-date Apple CarPlay system with an eight-speaker surround sound system as well. Um, but it's once, you, once we have a look inside the vehicle, it's absolutely impeccable what they've done inside. So the company works on modernizing Defenders. This one here started life as a panel van with a diesel engine as well, and that means it's not compliant with ULEVs. However, what Twisted have done is plonked their 2.3 litre turbocharged petrol engine with just over 300 horsepower, which is absolutely insane, and it accelerates really, really well. So we've got the original six-speed gearbox in there as well. We've also got a low-range system too. And what that means is this actual vehicle is compliant with ULEVs in London. So look around the front, we've got a brand new radiator grille, which is blacked out with a big fan behind there. The lights themselves, famously on Defenders, they haven't been the, the best thing to be compared to candles. Um, so we've got some LEDs behind there now and also LEDs for the indicators as well. Uh, and we've got some new DRLs and this particular one has quite a nice custom number plate, uh, TW15TD, it's also twisted. So just looking around the side, this Defender started life as a panel van. So you've obviously got the, the cargo storage in the back there. We've got the Twisted branding on the back of this one, because this is the demonstrator model for Twisted. We've got some 18-inch alloy wheels, which are in-house design from Twisted. And we've got some BF Goodrich tyres. Those are really, really good tyres. So I've had some uh, good experience off-road with these tyres before. And also on the road, this car behaves pretty well. Uh, we've got a side step here in satin black. Um, got these. Uh, door handles which you push a button in to get into. We've got some custom branding for Twisted on here, so it's a Yorkshire 300, uh, Yorkshire England as well. We've also got the roof rack in satin black which matches the ladder at the back as well. So just look around the back of the Twisted Defender, they've done similar sort of stuff with the front. So we've got LED brake lights here, LED reversing lights, which all brings it a bit more modern. Uh, the rear door, if you're used to Defenders, is very stiff, so you just have to lift this handle up here and then the door opens up like that. Just on the bottom there, there's a reversing camera. Uh, you can view that from the interior and then inside there there's a fully reworked interior so we've got our actual option extra gun rack from uh, twisted which is interesting there's some glasses and some space for guns so don't worry there's no guns in actually in there so all you need to do is open this side here there's a little button and then the whole tray comes out and you can see there's some space for some rifles and things and there's some branded glasses which is which, which, which are quite nice uh, some spot some space for some uh, bottles as well it's like the closers like that and they just lock the covered up like that. In there you can see the bench, the rear seats, um, so we've got Alcantara on the sides there, sound deadening, got leather on the sides, uh, we've got all Alcantara on the ceiling as well and also the, the, you can see the windows as well. So it's definitely not a place you want for a dog, they'll definitely trash that interior. You can fold those benches down, so I'll just demonstrate that now. So there's a little handle here and that, that folds down like that. Just come around this side, again handle and the whole bench comes down like that. So you get a bit more space, you can put suitcases and bits of wood in there, so all good. So it's inside where Twisted have done a lot of the major work for the Defender. As you can see, we've got leather everywhere. So a lot of the trim is all custom made by Twisted in-house. Uh, they've added a Apple CarPlay system, so an Alpine aftermarket system. Um, it's definitely not the most amazing system I've ever, ever used, but it definitely does the job. You've got wired Apple CarPlay. And there's a USB-A port in the center console there. Uh, got the normal manual gearbox, so a 6 speed manual gearbox. Got a custom twisted plaque down here, so it says custom build, built in Yorkshire, which is quite nice. And also we've got a lot of mod cons, so we've got air conditioning down here, we've got heated seats. These are these seats are absolutely amazing. Uh, they're custom leather Recaro seats with the twisted branding built in. And I've got to say, when you're bumbling down some Yorkshire lanes, they're really, really comfortable to be in. And we've got a twisted clock up here, which is quite nice. What twisted haven't done is completely modernise the Defender. It's still got that Defender charm, so we've still got the six-speed manual gearbox, 
This time all coated in leather, which is really nice. And we've still got the manual low range system down here. Still got a manual handbrake down here, so no electronic handbrake, which is quite nice. And we've got two cup holders down here. We've also got the upgraded speaker system with eight speakers. It sounds really good. Definitely, again, not the very best I've ever used, but it's a lot better than what comes with the Defender from Standard. What's really nice on this infotainment screen is the fact we've got access to a reversing camera, uh, something the original Defender definitely would not have had. So this one being a station wagon, it's a lot bigger than the sort of three-door Defender. So maneuvering this in car parks is greatly appreciated, the fact we've got a camera now. So just looking at the steering, we've got a 14-inch unit, custom from Twisted. Uh, this is quite a small steering wheel for quite a big car and it does make maneuvering it quite easy. Uh, we've still got the original Rover stalks here. So again, you'd find these on Austin Allegro's and things. Um, so these are all quite loose and not the absolute best, but it still retains that defendery charm. We've got all the buttons here for traction control. So we've got the physical buttons for the rear wiper. So you can actually spray the water on the back window without wiping it. And then you've got the buttons to control that. And then they've got, Twisted have got their own custom dials in the front here. So we've got very, very basic setup. We've got the tachometer on the left, temperature, fuel, and then the speed. And then there's a little tiny display here. There's gonna be no information for the MPG you're doing. I have noticed that the fuel gauge has dropped quite quickly with just normal driving. From just driving this around for a bit today, I can tell that the fuel economy isn't gonna be amazing. But on this little computer here, you can view the, the mileage, you can set trips and things. Um, some basic information in there. We've got a the aftermarket microphone there, so you can see it's just loosely fitted to the, the dashboard there because you got you do have hands-free calling courtesy of that Alpine system. And then looking up here, we've got some very, very stiff sun visors. These feel really, really good quality. Everything on the roof is coated in Alcantara, which is a lovely, lovely material. Got the, the old-fashioned lights here, which are LED now. Got some down lights at the bottom there, so there are some little down lights around the cabin that will give you a bit more lighting. Um, but the overall quality, everything's really spongy, everything's really, really good quality. So I think what Twisted have done with the Defender and taking it into sort of a luxury age and sort of and giving you a bit more mod cons, I think they've done a really, really good job. These seats here are custom trimmed Recaro seats. Um, they do not have any height adjustment. Um, so whatever height you are, that's going to be it. The steering wheel again does not have any height adjustment. So whatever it's set up, that's it. Um, you can adjust the, the front and back of the seats. So you've got a little rail here to push. Uh, there's not much adjustment, but you can get quite close which is quite nice. And then you can adjust the rake as well, sort of the, the tilt on the back seat. But again, there's no height adjustment um, and there's no adjustment for the steering wheel. Just looking at the back seats here, you are sat quite high up in comparison to the front seats. But again, if you've lived with a Defender or driven one before, I guess you'd be used to that. I guess it's quite similar in a normal Defender. But again, we've got a nice amount of lovely materials on the back. Twisted are very good at um, making sure everything is really good quality and it smells nice as well. So again, apologies for the lack of smell of vision, but in here it does smell like leather. It just smells amazing. But anyway, we've got these bench seats here. They do fold and give you a bit more load space. These front, front seats, I think, are meant for a sports car, but they do fold forward so you can get in the in the back if it was in a sports car, but I guess that's quite useful for getting in and out. Um, this, this is set up for my driving position. I'm 5'7". Um, there isn't a massive amount of legroom, so obviously this is a huge vehicle. We'd expect a bit more legroom in this vehicle, but we've got a nice flat floor. Um, so getting maneuvering inside the vehicle is not going to be a problem. And then Twisted have fitted the Defender rubber mats in the back here as well. Again, all the Alcantara on the ceiling here. I've got the little portal windows here. So that's quite a unique Defender, Defendery thing. But yeah, good amount of space back here. There is some little lights underneath the bench. So it'll give you a bit more ambient lighting when you're trying to maneuver in the dark. But that's really the extent of the additions that Twisted have done to the back. In the front seats, we've got electrically operated windows. The buttons are in the center console. Um, because the door cards are quite thin, there's not really much room for that system. And then in the back here, we've got uh, manual operated windows, which is a sort of a defender, defender thing, really. Uh, again, the door cards are quite thin, but it's not too bad. In the back here, you can see you can see out quite easily. Uh, again, you you just sat quite high. That's all. Shall we see what this thing's like to drive in? A little bit of a delay there, but it's fired up. Uh, let's get going. So reverse gear is all the way over there. If you used to do a fender before, it's pretty familiar to you. And let's see what this thing's like to drive on some of Yorkshire's B roads. So big heavy steering here. Just getting out of this car park now. Really heavy steering. So I've actually got a bit of a confession to make. I've never actually driven a Defender before this. Um, this is my first time driving Defender and Twisted were good enough to let me come and drive this one today. So I picked it up from their sort of showroom place in Thirsk. It's called the Old Cinema. <laughs> first things first, so some of my impressions are going to be <laughs> some defendery type things. So obviously you are tucked right over the right hand side, um, right basically into the, <laughs> the, driver's the driver's door. 
uh, and the throttle pedal is basically in the footwell, which is really weird. It's all over the right-hand side, a massive gap between the brake and the clutch. Um, but those are just usual defendery things, really. Um, in terms of what this one's like to drive, it is fast. I mean, 308 horsepower from that 2.5 litre, or 2.3 litre petrol engine. Uh, so what Twisted have done is remove the diesel engine and they've put in their own custom TVS petrol engine, which makes this car U less compliant, which is absolutely fantastic. I mean, there are some unique defendery things that I've heard before, obviously not experienced the first hand before, but basically when you have the heating system on, it is on or off essentially. And on a little bit chilly day like today, you want the heating on really. Um, so it is either scalding hot or freezing cold. So you have to sort of play around with the heating and turn it on and off when you want. And when it is on, this whole section is like an arga. It's all <laughs> sort of radiating heat. But let's talk about what it's like to drive. So I've, I've always heard defenders talked about, oh, you hustle along the road. I never really thought or really realized what it meant. Um, but yeah, I can't really put my finger on it, but you are, you do hustle it down the road. Even with this, even this one with 308 horsepower, it's sort of, you've got to encourage it to get moving. Uh, I think it might be a combination of the heavy steering and just the fact that it's quite a big cumbersome vehicle. But I mean, credit where credit's due, Twisted have done a fantastic job with this vehicle, um, bringing it into the modern age, uh, modern materials like, well, new materials like leather down here as well, got leather everywhere. Uh, but they've retained some of that Defender charm, so we've still got the manual gearbox. Clutch is still heavy. Uh, we've got limited room in the cabin still. But they've added things like you wouldn't think of. So you've got wireless charging down there for the passengers. You've got the CarPlay unit. You've got updated dials. You've got an analog clock. I mean, it definitely will suit a certain type of person. Um, and yeah, as I mentioned, driving it around London would be pretty hilarious. The one thing I will mention is the fact that you can't see what MPG you're getting. There is a very basic trip computer down here. Um, it just tells you how many miles you've done and you can reset the trip and that is literally it. Um, you're not going to be able to see what MPG you've done. I have been driving around pretty briskly today uh, and I have visibly seen the petrol gauge go down. Um, but don't buy this thing if you're after an economic vehicle. Um, this is definitely a hobbyist vehicle um, and you're only going to buy it really if you if you love Defenders and you just love what Twist have done with this thing. Um, and for me, I absolutely adore what Twist have done with this thing. It is absolutely marvellous. Um, and definitely for someone who's not driven a Defender before, what a way to get an intro into a Defender driving style. Um, I mean, if I ever drove a normal Defender now, I think I'd be heavily disappointed. This thing is just, they've done an amazing job. Um, hats off to them. The fact that we've got way more power than a normal Defender. So we've got the six-speed manual, and if you accelerate, you get the turbo whine, you get the turbo whistle, you get the flutter from the turbo as well. Um, this thing has no right being this fast no right at all uh, it is just absolutely rapid i mean for something this big that can carry this amount of stuff um well not that you want to carry that much stuff because the the rear luggage section is an absolute work of art with all the alcantara and all the nice materials you wouldn't put anything in there let alone a dog um well i wouldn't anyway but this thing has no right being this fast it's absolutely rapid <laughs> you get the turbo whistle there like i said you get the turbo intake noises absolutely transform this vehicle and this isn't even the fastest model that Twisted would do. Twisted would do you one with a V8 if you want it with an absolute way more power than this one. This one like combination of just the noise it makes that'd be perfect for me this is just absolutely great. Now what else would Twisted do you? So Twisted as I said would do you they'll basically do any vehicle you want. I mean we had a look around the showroom earlier this morning and there's customer cars waiting to be delivered and they've got wedding cars for different staff members and things and you can like, choose exactly what you want as a convertible Defender. Uh, you can have a van converted one if you so wish. Um, as I said, they're getting into the Jimny market now and also Twisted do boats as well. So they've got a lot of demand from North America. They're starting a new workshop in Japan as well. So getting those engineers trained up on how to do how to do a Defender the Twisted way, as it said. If you want a Twisted Defender, I would definitely recommend coming up to Thursk to test drive one and just have some of the sales guys talk you around what you can get and all the options you can get, definitely. Um, it's definitely worth having a look in person first because pictures and videos, personally, I don't think they do this thing justice. The noise of this thing is absolutely mad. I mean, Twisted have added some soundproofing to this thing, but like, I can't imagine how bad it would be without it, but this is so engaging. I mean, the Defender's not a sports car, don't get me wrong, but man, this is just the noise it makes 
Just to get the intake noise and then the flutter off the overrun. Amazing. Sadly, I've got to give this car back now. I don't, don't particularly want to. So in conclusion, what do I think about the Twisted Defender? So this one's a commercial vehicle that's been converted to carry passengers. It's got the, oh, the gorgeous bucket seat. I mean, Twisted know the market they're going after. So I think they mentioned to me, they make about 20 a year, all hand-built. I mean, if you're after a hand-built car that's been made in the UK still, definitely for you. I mean, not Land Rover is not for everyone. Um, there's tales of Land Rovers being unreliable. And I've no doubt that this is going to be a big change from that. Um, I mean, the amount of stuff they've changed, all the electrics, the engines completely new, brakes, suspension, wheels, tires, interior, technology, it's all different. So I'd imagine the, the reliability on this vehicle will be a lot better than Land Rovers of old, definitely. That's going to do it for this video. I've got to go and give this car back to Twisted now. They're going to have to pry it out of my hands, I think. I'm in, absolutely in love with it. Uh, as I said, what a way for a Defender first drive. Check out our website, theinterface.uk, for more information about what we make and do. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more car videos. Once again, thank you for watching. My name's Alex, and we'll see you again next time. Yes! <laughs> Go on. What a noise. See ya.